Hello everybody, just want to start this video this time by showing you my car first. I need to establish a few things before I get to the main message. This is my car. This is a dash here. Um, it's not the best car but that is one of the things I want to say anyway okay this is a Dacia 2016 it's not 2021 or 2022 <laughs> the car is made in Romania, that's the license holder. They, they have probably different branches of the places or the countries. I live in the UK, as you are aware. And uh, I call this kind of, this car and, and these kind of cars made uh, in this style, third world country cars. So, <laughs> um, the reason is because it's not very, um, it's not too uncomfortable, but it's not one of the like most advanced cars in the world. If you want to pull up the bonnet, usually all the cars, all of the cars that I've had, they all have a handle underneath the steering wheel somewhere around there on the dashboard to pull up the bonnet. Not in this case, you have to come to the passenger side, open the door and go in there and pull that up. So it's there. And when you go actually to the bonnet, Let's say you want to fill up the windscreen washer tank. You have to find it here in a strange place. It's hidden there. And um, you won't notice when you actually start filling this, you'll see the container is probably the size of my hand. It doesn't contain much of water. That's one thing. Anyway, what I'm saying is, uh, however backward it is, still got a lot of sensors. They've taken the trouble to put that much sensors in this car. This seat that I'm just sitting to film this video, which is the passenger seat, One day, when I was coming back from shopping, I noticed I put some uh, bags of shopping on this side because my boot was full uh, and, and there was no room for it. So I put some here and my child was in the back. She was in the back with the back uh, seat belt on. I was obviously driving with the seat belt on and started driving. The seat belt indicator started warning that the seat belt is not on. So I checked everything and it was all okay. So I discovered, to cut the long story short, just putting the load here on this chair activated the sensor that the sensor thinks basically there is a person here sitting and it needs a seat belt so i've put the seat belt on on the <laughs> shopping bag and the indicator stopped warning me that's one thing uh, the other day i was driving i saw this indicator showing me uh, something weird that I'd never seen on any other car that I had previously. So I checked it on the manual, it says tire pressure low. So, and it says in the manual that the tires have sensors. I know some of you watching this 
you should probably laugh because it's probably normal to you. You've got uh, brand new cars from probably 2022 and you can afford that. But this is the best I could afford. Now, this is the uh, best I can afford with my budget. So anyway, that's not the point. The point is, with all that being backwards, with all this car, and the model and the the brand the maker is all being backward well, they've taken the trouble to put all these sensors there even the tires have sensors now i know um, i've test driven some new cars um, and i know they have a lot more sensors uh, a lot more you can imagine and you can talk to the uh, center by just pressing a button. You can, uh, they can switch off your engine remotely. Uh, I know, I know all that is going on and it's all, all there. But like I said, uh, and this is the best I could afford, and I don't really want those kind of cars. Um, I want something simple, and this is cheap to run for me. Uh, I can afford it, and that's fine for me. To be honest, I don't want all those gadgets in my car. A uh, car should be a car, what it says. A car, like, you know, a mobile should be a mobile to just phone, not to take pictures and um, do all the other things that people do, playing games and all that. I'm not interested in that. Um, I have a busy life. I don't need all that nonsense. Uh, this is just to put you in the right picture so I can talk and tell you what I want to say. Let's get back to the computer and I'll tell you there what I want to say. Now, with all that said, remember this one? I'll play this with sound and you'll see what I mean if you haven't seen this. But. Um, I'm just trying to establish a few things, lay a foundation before I move on because some of you uh, are hung up on, uh, like I keep saying to people, hung up on carrot. Uh, you want evidence, I talk with evidence. I know some of you think, well, this is all old stuff. Uh, no, I will get to the new stuff too and I'll tell you um, about the future too. So just bear with me, I want to establish a few things and so people won't attack me and you know say nasty stuff saying this is all this is this this is that this is just news that 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 and uh, they're not segmented they're all related and i'll tell you how uh, because people love to uh, see evidence and they, they like to see results and they, so they like to see when when we talk about prophecy they just want to hear money is coming and you know breakthrough is coming and all that yes but I tell you what God is telling me and what God is showing me even Jesus says that Jesus says I do what the Father is showing me I, I'm not gonna just say things or do things that pleases people or pleases ears I tell you as it is let's just get to this video I'll just show you this video and then move on from there we also have a history of kind of moving in and out of Pakistan I mean let's remember here the people we are fighting today we funded 20 years ago and we did it because we were locked in this struggle with the Soviet Union they invaded Afghanistan and we did not want to see them control Central Asia and we went to work and it was President Reagan in partnership with the Congress um, led by Democrats who said you know what sounds like a pretty good idea let's deal with the ISI and the Pakistani military and let's go recruit these Mujahideen and let's great let's get some to come from Saudi Arabia and other places importing their Wahhabi brand of Islam so that we can go beat the Soviet Union and we, guess what they retreated they lost billions of dollars and it led to the collapse of the Soviet Union so there's a a very strong argument which is wasn't a bad investment to end the Soviet Union but let's be careful what we sow because we will harvest so we then left Pakistan we said okay fine 
You deal with the stingers that we've left all over your country. You deal with the mines that are along the border. And by the way, we don't want to have anything to do with you. In fact, we're sanctioning you. So we stopped dealing with the Pakistani military and with ISI, and we now are making up for a lot of lost time. All right, now you're going to tell me, what's this got to do with your car? Well, I'll tell you, it's got a lot to do with my car, and I'll tell you what. You know, people say history repeats. Yes, history does repeat. You know why? Because we are the same people as from the beginning. Uh, we don't learn from our past mistakes. We don't learn from our history because we don't know our history, and we don't get taught our history correctly. Because... The powers don't want us to know our history and so now this uh, lady says yeah we just thought let's get to work yeah and they did get to work and notice what she says at the end that uh, we left them with the stingers there and that again now if you look at what's happening in Afghanistan it's exactly the repeat scenario of what they did then they've left the country ravaged by war and terrorists that they created and left not only the country and the people desperate people in the hands of those you know i would say vicious um, terrorists they would have no mercy on anyone not only that but they also left all their equipment in the hands of taliban not to the government at the time of the country but to a terrorist group they were fighting against for 20 years of course there are uh, senates and congressmen who uh, are questioning it and they have raised their voices whether under the pretext of freedom and uh, just to show that they have we have democracy in the west but um, or not we don't know but however uh, they, they don't get to the bottom of this uh, why did they do that uh, there is a real uh, reason for that that they withdrew in a rush and they left all the equipment to the uh, terrorist group Taliban the group that they were fighting with for 20 years not to the government of the time of the country so, I mean, if uh, reasonably speaking, logically speaking, if you wanted to leave your equipment there, you would leave it to the government to fight with the terrorists that you've been fighting with, not to the hands of the terrorists. So this doesn't make sense, does it? Unless you have an agenda, uh, which this lady clearly said it for that time, uh, it is a repeat that is happening right now. Uh, nothing has changed. Only names have changed. Bear in mind that what you see and what you read here, which you can pause and read at any uh, place, especially the places I'm highlighting, uh, you need to read them. Uh, these are only from the horse's mouth. You wouldn't hear them from these same mainstream medias repeatedly. They only show it once probably in the middle of night hardly anybody knows about it and they forget about it they just get pushed uh, to the sidelines and nobody ever talks about them ever again at the time when that happened also uh, lots of Afghanis also got killed because they were trying to escape these t vicious Taliban uh, holding on to the wheels of the planes to escape with the Americans but they plummeted to their death and um, obviously nobody helped them and um, they pretended that they were going back to help them and bring them but they didn't and and lots of them got killed knowingly that they were there and only mentioned uh, on some of the news like I'm showing here only because um, the images that people themselves had videoed there on the site um, with their own devices leaked and leaked too much basically that they couldn't stop all 
All right, I heard some people saying, well, get to the point, what are you trying to say, right? Those of you who've been watching our videos, because we've got two YouTube channels, one truly majestic, the other one is jesusministries.co.uk, and initially we wanted to have them separate from each other, uh, but things didn't work that way, and uh, we are just keeping an eye on that, and, and we're seeing how things pan out uh, and we might change all that however back in October on 31st of October 2021 uh, my wife made a short video three minutes or so uh, titled urgent prayer tipping point for humanity which was a drive to send people to our ministry YouTube channel and um, I made a video there which is also published on our website jesusministries.co.uk on the urgent prayers requests and if you go all the way down in that page when you come here on the prayer requests go down uh, we've got some videos there posts there and people you know comments there and requests all that and come down here you'll see my video uh, with a thumbnail picture of me standing by the uh, or in front of the sea raising my hands to the sky praying and in that video around uh, minute five or so this is what I said now I want you to listen to that if you haven't watched this or if you have watched it um, listen to this again because people have some sort of mystical ideas about prophecy and when we say prophetic word they have their own ideas about um, you know they expect uh, money is coming and you know breakthrough is coming those kind of things and and those kind of things can happen as well not against that but um, this one was a, a video asking people to join us in prayer against the summit that the leaders had in Glasgow in Scotland uh, around that time and that was the time I wanted people to pray against it before they had the summit before they had the meeting under the name of climate change COP26 and uh, to be frank not a lot of people did join uh, but I prayed my wife prayed we prayed and I know um, other people separately prayed without us knowing even against all these evil agendas that they have however I prayed and this is what I said in my video this is only a, a couple of minutes of it just watch that see what I said see the manifestation of the power of God in action we don't quite know exactly what their plans and agendas are but I can tell you from what I understand they're not pretty as they pretend to be as they portray and um, which is, which is very good and sounds good for the gullible but I have the spirit of discernment and I know uh, this is not anything nothing good is going to come out of this there is going to be a lot of evil rulings that will probably roll out um, gradually or, or, or in one go we don't know uh, but what I do know is the whole thing is an evil plan right so you heard me say uh, there is going to be a set of evil rulings coming out being rolled out either all in one go or gradually there is going to be a lot of evil rulings that will probably roll out um, gradually or, or, or in one go and this was a prophecy that has happened now how did that happen from the climate change summit uh, that they attended in Glasgow after that without pe without telling people what the results of that summit 
where and you know what they concluded there uh, and any basically any conclusive results uh, shown to people the whole thing basically got pushed to the sidelines and uh, nobody ever talked about it again only in dribs and drabs here and there just a little bit of a news here and there but they didn't really say what they actually achieved what their agenda was what they wanted to do what their plans were or what you know their achievements were from that summit however I noticed not long after that they started putting posts on different platforms uh, and it was all about driving and DVLA basically started either themselves or the government however it doesn't matter that's part of the government they, they started putting all these things out there uh, kind of subtly posts titled like for instance 11 driving changes and laws coming into force next year starting on January 1st and when you read these articles which I want you to actually read as I'm scrolling down you can just pause my video and uh, read through them or at least read parts that I see and highlight uh, for you because they're really sneaky it's all part of the results of what they had in that summit but they don't tell you that so when you read all these articles uh, some of them they say these laws actually have been there for a long time uh, this is not a new law and to be honest some of them are actually old and not this one particularly but some of them are actually old uh, but the point is they were there a long time ago I would say about maybe some of them 11 years ago for for example you, you can't have a dog loose in your car and uh, that's illegal and you can be charged for that uh, and that's something that most people actually with the dogs they do they do that quite regularly uh, right or wrong we're not talking about that we're talking about how sneaky they are uh, we're talking about something else I'm, I'm trying to get to a, a point here and make establish some facts here so people don't say you're just talking nonsense and, and this is not based on any facts uh, these are all facts uh, just want you to read some of these at least the titles Yeah, what I was saying is some of them are old, like for instance, having a dog not secured in your car or dog, you know, with a head outside the window, those kind of things, uh, ridiculous things. Or for example, flashing your lights to give way to the upcoming drivers to indicate that, they, that it's okay for them to go or, or pedestrians to move those kind of things ridiculous they say some of these things they've been there for 11 12 years but my question is why now suddenly you want to enforce them if they've been written there why didn't you tell us then why didn't you make people aware of those things that you wrote them in in the laws in the bills then and why are you making suddenly everybody aware of those things that have been there for 10 to 12 years and that you're going to enforce now that's for that one and the new ones if you look at them for instance the hierarchy of uh, road users is changed so the priorities have changed and the priorities are as follows in this list 
you read them for yourself because I, I, I'm, I, I'm not going to read these things. I don't want to promote them. And by the way, whatever uh, site you see here, I've got quite a few websites ready to show you for different things. And I don't approve any of these sites for your sources of news and I don't disprove them. This is just a reference for me to show you so people won't say your talking has no reference. And this kind of things is illegal now. And some of them you be laughing at and some of them you just think this is ridiculous but it is happening and as I'm going to next pages I would like to close these because it slows down my computer I've got quite a few pages open here so that one you've seen now if you want to go back you can go back and pause and read or find the site and read yourself um, this is again that was on um, December which has just closed and uh, this is published 24th of January so every day I noticed after that summit almost a few weeks after that they kept posting these things about DVLA or um, highway codes and you know those kind of things that have changed and and the things that you're not supposed to do but you've been doing all about driving all about cars all about road users so if you read these things you'll see my point now if you look at this one for instance new highway code rule will find drivers a thousand pound for opening door with wrong hand now which one is a wrong hand then they're saying that is a wrong hand you have to open the door with the hand further away from the door so no matter which side of the car you're sitting you have to open it with the hand further away from the door and of course they put these actors here to <laughs> take this stupid picture uh, nobody opens the door like this and this uh, bicycle hitting the door as if she's blind uh, the idea of this opening the door with the hand further away from the door is that you turn naturally and you see bike riders uh, or pedestrians coming from behind and this picture is actually the wrong way so it's actually coming from uh, the, the, the front so that's not the point though the, the point I'm trying to make is it's absolutely ridiculous because you can actually open the door with your left hand in this case and you still don't turn and see your behind it actually depends on the awareness of the person about his or her surrounding it's, it's nothing to do with your left or right hand opening the door uh, ridiculous laws this is the point ridiculous rules that they have put there all um, as a drive to make it uncomfortable very difficult for people to have cars basically have your own personal car or drive on the roads uh, that's another post the new rule that means you have to let pedestrians cross even if they are not at a crossing so even if and they actually explain even if they're in the middle of a roundabout you have to give way and uh, the thing is this is basically a recipe for disaster and their own so-called experts are also saying that the same the same as what I'm saying it's a recipe for disaster but that is the point they want that they want the disasters to happen so the next steps whatever they have in their agenda will follow and the next one and uh, now this this DVSA warns learned drivers who fail test may have to wait a month to rebook uh, for each one of these they have nice looking reasons uh, that because of this we are doing this 
and you know and, and it sounds like oh so they're actually looking after us and they're so uh, caring you understand what I'm saying they make 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 it so nice and make it sound like they're actually there to look out for you and your interests but they're not that's the last thing they are thinking of read this one and you'll be laughing now these are illegal now they, it's titled 11 common habits used by drivers that are actually against the law right what are those well let's read them uh, like I said I'm not gonna read it for you because it actually boils my blood so I'll let you read these Now, like I said, they say some of these are old and they are actually written in the books. So they've been there for 11 years, 12 years from, you know, who was ruling 12 years ago, who was the prime minister in this country. Now, these are all, I'm talking about England or Britain uh, as a whole, but wherever you are from, it doesn't matter. Don't think for a second this is just for Britain. No. I am showing you these for Britain because I live here and I have to be aware of what's happening more about this country than, than about other countries. But I bet you you can go and find similar things. Uh, some of you probably have noticed similar things in your own country no matter where you are. That's, that's for sure because this is a, a worldwide agenda or this one uh, titled highway code dangers how the code changes could be a danger to motorists now this is experts of their own actually talking against these changes and saying this is a recipe for disaster and it is uh, but are they listening to them because you know they have too many experts and scientists and and they go by science and experts as they say but do they uh, anyway this is still nothing compared to what you're what you're about to have I read the end of this article it's just um, amazing how especially this part um, new but new road safety technology may be able to help motorists adapt and what is that one that they're planning to bring in safety technology this is part of that uh, technology that they were talking about controlling your speed remotely controlling your engine I know they can already switch off your engine remotely some of the cars but they they want to even control your speed what's next next is you have to talk to your car you have to show your ID you have to show your iris to get in your car and these are all with all these smart cars smart um, battery operated cars that they want to bring because they want to make everything green so the world basically to be a nicer nicer place to live anyway so as they say so that's to close that one. Now, my, now you can see that uh, short prophecy has already been fulfilled. But I did say other things as well. And at the end of this video, as well as other videos that I've made since, uh, almost each video I have uh, asked God to expose the evil and the evildoers. And that is happening as well. 
Don't you think it would be much more effective if we all got together and prayed? Or at least in your own time. I don't, I don't expect people to get together with us at the same time. We can't do that. We tried uh, and we couldn't get the momentum. It's just not possible to have people from all around the world at the same time praying. Unless you're praying in your own time and I'm praying in my own time but with the same um, hymn sheets in front of us we have to pray in one accord as the Bible teaches us uh, however let me just see if I can find that and let them be exposed all together to the public and let the whole world see that they are nothing but chaff and evil and into evil and have no good agenda good plans but all their plans is for evil and if they're not to return to God if their hearts are hardened by you you harden their hearts O oh Lord let them fall into the, the same very holes that they dig for people let their evil plans fall on their own heads in Jesus name now since then I've published other videos and almost at the end of each video I have asked God to either soften the hearts of those evil rulers and let them turn to God and have a change of heart for people for God and turn around basically or um, let them be exposed with all their evil, evil deeds and evil agendas to the public and the pits that they've dug up for other people let them fall in those themselves and that is happening also so that was another prophecy fulfilled already and we, we can see all around the world but like I said I just mentioned a few things just in this country uh, we can see with uh, Boris Johnson's party gate um, going on that have been exposed and leaked out uh, as if nobody knew that in the parliament that was going on everybody was there so how come it wasn't known to the public until now because now is the time that he has to be exposed and it's not just him there's quite a lot of them involved and that is not the point the point is not just the parties and all that we are talking about the evil agenda that they have uh, if people particularly Christians don't put their feet down this is the time in fact it's a little bit late now we have to put our feet down now before it's too late see what happened with the NHS uh, mandatory vaccine scheme uh, as just recently doctors nurses all the NHS staff basically lots of NHS staff took to the streets and protested uh, vigorously against this mandatory scheme now see what's happening ministers plan to scrap vaccine mandate for NHS staff in England isn't that amazing how things can change when people start protesting and opposing their evil agenda if you, if you don't do that nothing is gonna happen and uh, just see what they are saying he told MPs this is the health sec secretary that guy up there and this So they always talk nicely about uh, how their plans uh, are good for you, for you, for me, for everybody. And now you read this. You remember this number. Even they themselves 
don't even add up their numbers, their figures, their reports, anything they say. They're cont contradictory with each other. Again, another article, you can see things are, uh, it's about the same thing, but Remember, this one was very, very dangerous, and now see how they are playing words. Like, playing words here. This is how they were playing words. So this is what I'm saying to you, they are playing with your minds and this one uh, it just exposes, although this has been there and if you search for it you'll find out this is this technique or this tactic has been used for several years, sneakily uh, without anybody knowing about it and if they've said anything like I said they've probably published it once and they never ever published it again and it's gone um, behind the scene and nobody talks about it nobody knows about it and the news media is not talking about it government is not talking about it why, why should they this is their uh, lifeline read about it this is important this is the most important thing that you need to know these are some psychologists who figured this out and they have written a letter to the government about this uh, saying this is unethical however you don't have to be a psychologist to know this you just need to use your common sense I said that in my videos that they're brainwashing people I said that in my videos that uh, you need to boycott them and I pleaded with people to do that it's funny because in this very article that is about this technique that they have been using called nudge unit nudge industry in the same very article that this this guy wants to this guy is actually co-founder of number 10's nudge unit accused ministers of using scare tactics during the pandemic now this guy is the founder co-founder of number 10's nudge unit he himself is saying it's too much you're using too much of it that you scare people to to go to the hospitals to go to the doctors for other illnesses and in the same article they're using the same strategy to frighten people look at this picture massive picture in the middle two massive pictures with these words written on them they're trying to say this is the kind of thing that they used but they're still using it they don't have to have a massive picture like this they don't have to show it like that and uh, say uh, in small letters that this is this is how they use the scare tactic they don't have to do that and if you read the article if you don't agree with me if you read the article you'll see that they're now in the same article the same guy who is trying to say this is too much First of all, it's not saying it's not good. He's just basically saying you're overstepping your bounds. That's all you're saying. Now, if you read the article and all that, you, you'll see uh, he is even in the same article scaring people of other diseases or other illnesses. Now, this uh, notch unit was established during this guy's premiership 
Now, those in Britain would know um, and, and, and listen to what they're saying here. Yeah. And this is coming from the horse's mouth. I am not making it up. And this is not new. This is not new, by the way. What I'm saying is, it's been there. They've been using it for years, but it's only just been talked about openly and exposed openly. So that's part of our uh, prayers for them to be exposed. It has been fulfilled already, but more, a lot more needs to be done. A lot more needs to be exposed before they kneel down. Because this is, if we don't put our feet down now, there's more evil coming and it will be too late for anyone to be able to stop them. And this this guy established it, not only that, and they nudged the people here in this country, they even tried to nudge people in other countries. However, even before his premiership, this other guy was running the unit and the industry or the unit, not unit. But he was not only nudging us, nudging the public and, and they ran a test. And this is a test that they did with the pensioners. Uh, if you read this, you see that they, they even use this to, to test it. With pensioners and and it worked then they tried to use it in the country as a whole for other things and not only in this country the guy even told Americans who to vote for uh, after Obama and you know who I'm talking about I'm not gonna go into those kind of things we want to uh, have people basically um, aware of what's going on because unfortunately there's a lot of Christians as well who are totally oblivious of what's going on and they believe the system they believe everything and they don't they don't have a clue what's happening now about the uh, climate change and cars and everything else that we said we haven't made any conclusions we haven't made the point yet uh, the point is the reason behind all this mad rush of pulling out Afghanistan and all that uh, is not because of anything that they tell you. It's all because of power and money and control. That uh, lady at the beginning of my uh, video said it nicely for that time. Uh, it's a repeat uh, because now what's happening back in uh, 2000. 16 during the Trump's administration the military in Afghanistan discovered there are huge reserves of lithium in Afghanistan as well as other goodies like gold like gold mines and not just the little pieces of gold here and there we're not talking we're not talking small this is huge and as well as opium that they've been exploiting for years from there and oil and other things and human trafficking as well no we're not talking about any of that we're talking about lithium now some of you will know where i'm going from here lithium is the most important ingredient that they need for these electric cars that they want to bring in now, the powers that be uh, here in this country, they've actually fooled the members of parliament even, and they've taken them as a trip to a factory to show them that they can actually manufacture lithium in this country. So we are right, Jack. 
you know uh, other countries can suffer uh, even if that even if that's actually true because they're lying they're showing them and I was listening to the radio and they said this that um, from one end of this factory you basically dig up dirt from the from the ground and put in the dirt in the machines and at the end of the machines the other end of the factory you get lithium coming out it's total nonsense they don't tell you where does that dirt come from and if they do they're lying uh, because even again according to the horse's mouth if you look at the top countries with the largest lithium reserves in the world you'll see these countries some of these countries uh, when when you look at them you you'll know I don't need to tell you much you know you'll know the names you, if you look at the names and if you look at the number the, the amount that there is there <laughs> with the top con being the top country with uh, this amount it's a tiny country anyway and um, with that amount compared to what they found is negligible you get the gist and what's happened after that in 2016 when they found that they never mentioned to anyone or anything and it uh, in uh, around 2019 or so uh, it became known to Chinese and uh, Russians and they wanted their shares and uh, Europe just recently woke up to the fact that there was such a thing there and so there was a bit of a uh, you know conflict up there with the powers so what they did after the, the administration changed although the previous administration also wanted to retrieve uh, forces from Afghanistan and they did to a degree but in my understanding is that they um, wanted to deal with the government of Afghanistan rather than doing it the way they're doing it now or they want to do it now so with these countries being the top and uh, you can see even here there is no mention of Afghanistan none and and this is uh, this is all they have this is the best they have and with this amount of lithium uh, which they can't even actually deal with some of these countries that's well some of these countries like this one is uh, one of the Commonwealth countries I, I would I, I say colonies uh, but we have to use nice names you know otherwise you'll be uh, targeted attacked or blacklisted anyway um, the, 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 there is a conflict between them and also we know that China and Russia didn't send any delegates to COP26 now each one of those uh, top powerful countries they want to have their own access to this huge reserves of lithium as well as gold and everything else so what do we do they decided the best way is to do what uh, that lady explained at the beginning uh, for that time again the same scenario we do the same thing we uh, pull out leave all our equipment there leave them with the stingers like she said leave them with the stingers let them deal with them um, and they did that knowing that the stingers will take over because now they have not only they're not only just they're just stingers they have their equipment their high-tech equipment as well so and, and they did they took over almost the whole country and they probably will the rest of it I'm not gonna prophesy to that one because I, I don't think that they should uh, so I'm not gonna say they will and and the, the thing is they've now got the country almost in their control 
and straight away what America done they've sanctioned them exactly following that same pattern they've sanctioned them so now no other country can make any deals with them but America has already made a deal with them under the name of gold mining and gold extraction but within that they've written the clause uh, that whatever minerals including lith including lithium there is uh, they can extract so basically they're exploiting the whole country uh, and taking all their goodies out uh, without any other country being able to have access to them the fact is because it's not a proper government now it's an it's a so-called illegitimate or terrorist government then they can do things they're cheap they can buy things from them they're cheap and they they mine they extract those things and they say we are doing it for you and all you have to do basically we are keeping you in power and you don't have to worry about anything this is why they're pushing it and uh, if we don't put our feet down now it will be far too late for us to win these kind of battles with these people the same as the NHS staff that opposed the whole agenda and won the battle they are winning the government has done a u-turn and and well, they're still talking about it they haven't finished but they will and um, although they have already done the damage because lots of people lost their jobs lots of people because of this left their jobs because they didn't want these kind of you know hassle with their workplaces but still a victory for uh, those who are opposed to this agenda to this evil agenda to this unethical immoral uh, agenda of theirs and and the fact that they're using these kind of techniques and strategies to manipulate people to do what they want them to do without them even knowing that they're doing it thinking that they have the total freedom to do whatever they want to wear what they like to eat what they like but really they are the ones telling them what to eat what to wear where to go where not to go and how to do things we've seen it at least if you haven't seen it before you must have seen it in the last two years how they manipulated people before that they did it with brexit before that they did it with other things and and you know the list goes on and on and on in, Amer in america uh, they've done with elections they've done with other things and this is not a new thing election last election wasn't a new thing it's been going on for for a long time it's just becoming more known and becoming more exposed because people now have uh, access to these social media and uh, the platforms that they have made the pits that they have made they are falling into them themselves the the platform evil platforms the same as i am using this evil platform for god well people are using these same platforms to access the truth to find the truth so the whole aim of this and the, the objective of me making this video is to raise awareness and again plead with people to stand firm in their belief in their principles and don't budge don't bend their rule their own principles God's rules don't bend God's rules but go against anything that is opposing God's world anything now that may be the, the the authority that you have at workplace the, the local authority your national or international uh, governing bodies whatever they may be if it is against the word of God 
you need to oppose that and that is biblical Matthew 12 30 whoever is not with me is against me and whoever does not gather with me scatters we want to gather and not scatter now lots of people are arguing you know under my videos under my wife's videos about silly things splitting hair about this is Catholic that is Methodist this is Baptist that's that it's just nonsense don't argue about these things Paul says do not argue about disputable matters Romans chapter 14 reads accept the one whose faith is weak without quarreling over disputable matters one person's faith allows them to eat anything but another whose faith is weak eats only vegetables so let these things drop at this moment in time in this day and age particularly when the world is against our very Christianity we need to unite we have one thing in common and that's the most important thing that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who came to this earth and died for my sins for your sins for our sins on the cross of Calvary and rose again after three days and he's still alive and he'll come back again this is what matters this is what saves your soul and mine this is what takes us to heaven this is the most important thing and this is the gospel now if you believe that then stop arguing about other things stop fighting with your brothers and sisters over disputable matters at least for this time for this period of time till we win the battle against the evil then we can argue till cows come home at this moment we need unity we need bondage with the Lord and with ourselves our brothers and sisters worldwide if the world can do this those NHS staff I don't think all of them were Christian probably there were some but not 100% of them they didn't do it for Christianity they did it for their own cause for their own principles having a mandatory needle in their arms it went against the grain for them they took to the streets I'm not suggesting that we have to be going to the streets and shouting but we need to stand firm and we need to do our bit in our own circle of family and friends and workplaces well wherever you are whatever you're doing in your own circle whether you are uh, going to stores to the shops to the marketplace uh, your workplace your you're traveling you're flying you're going around the world you're going from one town to another wherever you go you stand firm on the Word of God you stand on your own principles you have to push you have to push back wherever they may be anything that you see if it's on your television screen if it's on your computer if it's on your laptop if it's um, in the street if it's in the store if it's in the marketplace if it's in your workplace anywhere it may be you have to oppose that you have a responsibility to do this you have a Christian moral responsibility to say what is right and oppose what is evil if you don't then your Christianity is not practiced you're not practicing your faith I really don't know what to say to you you know if you don't believe your Christianity you it's just a, it's just a Sunday thing 
uh, Sunday just gathering basically getting together and having some social activities in the church then you know uh, maybe that's for you but for me uh, I worship my Lord wherever I am in the house in my workplace in the street wherever I go if I see evil I and it is, it is in my face is opposing me it is telling me what to do or it is dictating things to, to, to me that I have to follow their agenda I'll stand and I'll oppose that no matter what I do that and I have done even if that means losing a job even if that means losing a lot of things now the same example again uh, NHS staff shouted their demands opposed the evil agenda and they are achieving now those people of course they will be practicing Christians amongst them however they weren't 100% Christians were they but they practiced their own standards their own principles they stood on their own principles something within them didn't believe in the needle didn't want that and they didn't want the word even mandatory anything mandatory you don't you just don't want that you just don't want anything imposed on you or if you realize that they are manipulating your minds like I showed you with those tactics and those strategies to manipulate minds to drive people to do things that they want them to do then you still don't want that we don't want that then you need to oppose the same way that they did it they put their feet down and they opposed it and they are achieving how much more we have to put our feet down we have a moral obligation we have the word of God that we can stand on we have a higher standard our standard is Jesus their standard is on their own personal standard by by and large I'm talking about of course like I said there are lots of probably practicing Christians amongst them but we're not talking about well, we were talking as a whole something went against their own principles it went against the grain and, and they didn't stand that so they opposed it the same way you and I have to oppose wherever we see that imposed on us wherever we see evil imposed on us no matter what it is if it's evil if it is against the Word of God and it's imposed on you or your family or your children or your any anything that is to do with you or even you're seeing it imposed on others and you have power to stop it you have a re you have the responsibility you have the anointing if you haven't got that then you have to ask God to give you that anointing give you that fire my petition here again my plea in this video again is for you to stand firm on your ground on the Word of God and whatever that is happening in your circle that is evil you oppose that or it will be too late and don't see the surface of things look deep because what you see for instance about the green about the uh, nice 
environment that they are portraying that we will be living in a nice green world in next 10 20 years it's not exactly what they want you and I live in look into it ask God to reveal it to you ask God to show you what the real reason behind all this is those in power have they ever looked after your interests so why would they look after your interests now think about it may God anoint you with the Holy Spirit fill you afresh with the Holy Spirit grant you the spirit of wisdom and discernment to know the spirits and fathom the depth of every evil agenda every evil spirit know them by their fruit and know if they are from God or from Satan may God give you the spirit of courage boldness and give you the fiery speech to say the right words to the people that God wants you to talk to oppose the evil no matter where they are and give you power and authority to do so and take the spirit of fear away from you and give you boldness and courage and spirit of wisdom and power in Jesus name God bless you and keep you safe I'll see you again in another video God bless